Claw has 100% win rate in this challenge, I believe. I don't think I've taken it before then. Do we transform to since every Watcher card is broken? I say we do. God, I'm so good at this game. Actually, sort of like healing here. I guess I can rest at a campfire. Strikes are getting more powerful. I like Foresight. I think the deck's already good enough to take it, probably. Oh, there's like... Yeah, I don't have Ice Cream anymore. <laughs> so, probably could have played that different. could have played that different too. That one's not relevant. The first one was. Take a prostrate here. Nice early pen nub. <laughs> One with claw deck. <laughs> sure, I did. Sure, I did. I just like Watcher having zero cost things early, I think. And Lightning. Maybe it was reasonable to weak potion at the start of this fight. Might still be reasonable to weak potion, actually.
Do you think that's a car outside or my fire alarm or something? Oh, car outside. Okay. I thought that was part of the music I was listening to, and I was like, this is very avant-garde. Music's really changed a lot in the last like couple of months, hasn't it? <laughs> Just 27. I can kill one. Kill 21 to one and weaken the other. I have Pennib. Just kill both. Hold on. <laughs> I want to pen them this and it would deal 32. Feels like I am not off by much here. I think the bot just crashed. Yep. I'll restart it. of music do I like? Uh, I like a lot of music. Probably harder to find music I don't like than to find music I like. The fact that I'm going to like manage to die in this run is tremendously upsetting to me. 21 plus 16. I have to use Pendum this turn as well, I think. 18 plus 26 next turn, though. Just trying to work out if there's a way to take less than the full 20. That would be nice. I can take 14 by using both potions, I think. Wait, I just have it. What am I doing? Oh no, I don't. <laughs> Fuck. 26 from screen. God, it's so close. Events the cap, I think, so four months. I'm shoot to you too.
Yikes. Ambrosia is probably a pretty good potion. I think I'll take an Empty Fist. Good turn one. Actually, how do I play turn one here? Yeah, Sarara, thanks for the five months. I'm going to show to you as well. Blasphemy here. Probably pick a ball. Kick is on sale. Decent with blasphemy as well. I'm thinking strike remove toy ornithopter though. I really like removing Watcher's bad cards. I think it starts to get insane very quick if you do that. Watcher has bad cards. The strikes and defends are not very good. Somehow I feel like the Watcher cards I'm being offered aren't that good. I'm gonna take Simmering Fury though. With support cards, strikes can be enough. They're still so fucking bad compared to Watcher's other cards. Kill. 
Oh, especially with Blasphemy. Blasphemy makes it less exciting. Problem is that the deck doesn't have any block really to keep it alive. Might have to take a protect. Is battle trance plus an upgrade? Battle him plus an upgrade? Probably not. Blasphemy is a buff, so orange pellets does not stop you from dying to Blasphemy. However, it just deals 99,999 damage, so all you have to do is survive that. Which is less difficult than it might sound like it is. Buffer works against Blasphemy, Intangible next turn works against Blasphemy, Fairy in a Bottle works against Blasphemy. Yep, all of these things work. Cards retained in my hand. I wonder if I kill this turn with Blasphemy. I think I do. Uh, maybe I should have checked that. take a lesson learned. I have one, two, three, four, five, six unupgraded cards. Doesn't seem necessary. I'm gonna take the omniscience. So I like removing Defend Battle Helm with Empty Cage. How many elites can this deck kill at the moment? It has no attacks or whatever? It has a pendant and a letter opener. I don't know. Yeah. 
you think the bell was three energy relics? I would probably have taken it had you told me beforehand. Unfortunately, there was no way for me to know that. It would be really nice to be good at killing elites <laughs> if I'm going to do this. Do I have lethal? I'm one attack short. Uh, I do that, right? Or do I not have enough energy? After this, I have seven, two, five, seven. I have lethal. I'm gonna check this, because it seems sort of close. So I go... Blasphemy. That says blasphemy. Energy goes to two, then five, then seven. Defend, defend. Five energy left, enemies are at 39 and 43. Lesson learned deals 39 to 1. I have three energy left, smite eruption. I have zero energy left, but that's dead too. I'm pretty sure that works. Cut through fate plus seems really good. <laughs> Time for a Nirvana already? I have a Foresight plus and a Cut Through Fate plus. I also very much like removing something. I don't know what though. I just want to be as good as possible at killing elites. Maybe just a Flash of Steel. Flash of Steel is pretty good at killing these elites. <laughs> hey, random logic. I'm not sure that Letcher wants Pendabun 9 or Rainbow. Sometimes, but often not, I think. I don't have Talk for the Hands yet, so Flash of Steel is not anywhere near guaranteed to be good. Maybe Bowling Bash, actually. Going intact. Two elite fights. Let's try Bowling Bash out. Bowling Bash is, like, by far the least exciting of those cards, in my opinion, but maybe it's the one I need. There's a Tantrum here. Did I have Rushdown? I don't remember. I didn't take it. 
Still taking tantrum every time, right? Surge. I'm not even noticing the raid. Oh, I have like alerts turned off. Thank you, Surge, for the raid. I don't have alerts turned off. I'm listening to music though, so I'm not hearing things that happen on my channel. It's a bit weird for me. I do appreciate it. Welcome in, Surge Raiders. Just kill next turn. Don't have to worry about doing math if we're just killing next turn. <laughs> the joke earlier about having AirPods in wasn't actually a joke. Uh, yeah, not really. I mean, I'm wearing like big headphones, but. I like that I got the eruption upgrade finally. Just lucky. Did I take the Nirvana? I didn't. Let's take a Consecrate then. Not convinced by this Blasphemy this turn. Yeah, this is not really the turn that we wanted to see, huh? At least I get to rest soon. Blasphemy, Consecrate, Omniscience, Unless Unlearned, and then Eruption. 24, I'm not weak. 24 plus 39 is good. for the upgrades, nerds. Wing boots nunchaku. All right. I think we can get Podge as a daily Pog champ for one day, yeah. I think we can do it. You're going to have to make some noise, though. You're going to have to get Twitch's attention. Generally like the card third eye, I think.
It's so weird that I'm jamming out to Ecstasy of Gold right now, and you're not. Or Chatters. I don't know that you're not. That's a fair point, I guess. That's a fair point. One doesn't really have to, like, do math here, right? This is very much exclamation mark, watch your lethal. Ah, uh, that's a preserved insect and an incense burner. Those ones are pretty good. I'm wondering if I take like water. I need some sort of scaling, I guess, to win the run. It's very bad scaling. <laughs> ah, I'm just gonna assume I can do better. Is that better? That might be better. Remember when Watcher came out and like Water Spam was my favorite way to win? Watcher was a lot different back then. I vaguely remember that myself. Vaguely. Damn it, I just got Aura Calcum. That made it a lot better. Hmm. Is it possible? There's no way, there's too many cards. Going to remove prostrate or keep it. Uh we'll see. We could go omniscience on protect here. There isn't that much reason not to, honestly. So I can just kill next turn if I want. Defenses, incense burner to a better number even? Okay. This is only 24. Hey, it's lesson learned. Bronze scales, Omomori. Don't really want these. Bottle Miracle seems better than Energy Potion. Super Elite? Super Elite should be fine.
What is so super about them? <laughs> I love that letter opener went off there. It's just very funny. Oh my god, there was a scroll bar on my rewards. Wait, I think that's actually a like somewhat recent change to the game. I think it used to be the case that you couldn't get a potion if you had Black Star and killed the super elite because there weren't enough slots for the rewards. There's nothing making Floria Blows good at the moment. I already have one. It's not good. Yet. And next turn, I die. And I got two upgrades. Never mind. This feels as though it has been an okay act so far. Sort of okay with all of those cards next turn. Are there no upgraded card unupgraded cards left? It's unfortunate. Wait, if there are no unupgraded cards, I can just kill this turn. But instance run five is wrong. Ideally, I would like to not kill next turn either, but it doesn't look like that's happening really. Huh. 
Toxic Egg. Cool, very useful. One more egg to become an egg. <laughs> We're almost the full chicken. Almost the full hen, I guess. Yeah. Flurry isn't upgraded yet. Yeah, it is. And then I died to Collector somehow. I don't really think it's worth it to remove Lesson Learned. I'll keep on getting unupgraded cards, right? Do we have lethal this turn? I don't believe so. This turn, though, maybe. And if not this turn, probably next turn. <sighs> Let's look at it. But... <sighs> Wait, actually, Tantrum first? means three energy left, and so far I've dealt 12. Cut is another 18, so I'm at 30. We hit Blasphemy, we have four energy now. Consecrate, still at four energy, that's another 24. I haven't been counting Flurry, which I think I have. Flurry we would play here. That'd put us at 46, and then that plus 24 is 70. But we're going to smite here. God, this is a mess, sorry. This is a Penibbed Blasphemy Smite, so... Is that only 64, though? Did I have, like, Master Reality last time? Only 134. Yeah, I don't have it. It's fine that I don't have lethal there. I was calculating lethal from a long way out there. <laughs> like, the enemy still has 240 health. I don't even have attacks in my hand.
Ye old kunai proc. I guess I could take one more of those if I wanted. <laughs> I'm intangible next turn. It means it would be fine to blasphemy here. Just do this. Uh, and this, and this. Not even attacking. I think Collector's given up. Although, am I like dead next turn? <laughs> hmm. Well, maybe Collector is dead next turn. Let's just do this, play it safe. Summoning, okay. Next turn, just fine. Twenty seven, twenty seven, twenty seven is eighty one. Maybe could have put incense burner on a better number. Uh, Volt's a pretty good card. I'm sort of into Conjure Blade here. I'm going to click on Volt, obviously, but sort of into Conjure Blade there. Philo Stone or Sozu or Tiny House. Potions are like okay right now, but I do have a toy ornithopter, so I'd like to use them to heal. Although, I guess I have nothing to do with campfires. Let's take Sozu. Since we can win with Tiny House, it's clearly the correct pick. Yeah, if I cross my eyes, that makes sense. No elites. All the elites are in these four floors. And if I take them all, I don't get any campfires. And all the stores are here. This act is weird. Wait, I think four energy seems unfair.
rush down. Let's take rush down. Let's look for ways out of wrath. I'm intangible next turn. Comical. Comical. you have for dinner? I don't know. Something nice. What's Zephyr doing? He's having a nap in the bedroom. I'm actually gonna let him out. Probably about time. I haven't quite made Flurry good yet. Oh, do I use my Wing Boots charge to go to another store? I could see that. Wait, I could have just started here if I wanted to go to two stores. I'm going to invoke sunk costs and not do that. I mean, I planned for boots, I just didn't consider that I might want to do it that way. The Sunk Costs Theorem is an important one to understand if you want to succeed in this game. This is lethal. If it's not, I have to gambler's brew, but it's fine. It's gotta be lethal. There's no way it's not. No conceivable way. Do I take second protect? Is that how this deck blocks? Yes, you do. The Albion, that's correct. Omissions vault, please vault one time and then your turn ends. Feels like with the smites already, I don't really want to be retaining another protect. On the other hand, I don't know, I have kunai. I should probably try to make kunai proc more often. Maybe I should have taken another flurry. Enlightening things with a gifted sub. Hmm. 
Mental Fortress Plus. I desperately need ways to enter Calm. It's bad out here. I think Anchor is a little bit less exciting with our Calcum, so I can just take a toolbox probably. Toolbox is a little bit less exciting with Pocket Watch. Also, one of the big hits is Apotheosis, which doesn't do anything. Maybe just Anchor. Master Foos, thanks for the Prime! Don't I actually have to play Lesson Learned right now? I feel like I do. Didn't I, like, add a card that isn't upgraded somehow? I don't remember what it was. Wheel kick, yeah. That's what I thought. Cool. Another Foresight. Another Flurry of Blows. Would be really cool if I could find a meditate. I think I will take another flurry because I have Kunai. Lesson learned and near the end of Act 3 or in Act 4. I don't have to remove it ever. GG? Aww, uh, I want to play Flurry though. Or upgrade Flurry rather. Those don't enter calm. I haven't... 
come particularly close to taking damage out. Maybe I don't need to worry about resting. Maybe just get the extra two relics from Wing Boots. We send this round to the Dev Civil Nerf Watcher. I feel like it's tricky to nerf Watcher because it's so unenjoyable to lose with Watcher. And if you nerf Watcher, people will start losing with her. Told your wrong wife to enter calm. My uncle had training for de escalating when he took his job uh, running a garden in a prison. And he went home after his first weekend on that job and tried to use his de-escalation training on his wife <laughs> and it did not work. <laughs> My aunt was not having it. I can't believe this is only 108. I must have lethal. There's no way I don't have lethal. Okay. Bag of prep, centennial puzzle. Tranquility enters calm. Sort of. Bag of prep and the centennial puzzle in the same fight, by the way. Do not want to meet my aunt in prison. No, probably not. Yeah, I thought about not playing Vault so that there would be five daggers this turn. It's just lethal though, still alright. Imagine if playing it twice made you die at the start of your next combat. Ginger Akabeko. Second Omniscience. Second Omniscience is pretty insane. So all of a sudden you play one Omniscience and then you play your other Omniscience twice. And then you get to like double Mental Fortress, double Foresight or something. Obviously, another Volt is also insane, though. The boot! Oh my god, Akabeko. Would Tantrum just kill here? Tantrum would deal like 88. 
Unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> this might be a new highest relic total. If I buy a relic in the last store, I think it might be. Spirit Shield is one of those cards that should be insane, but is just embarrassed on Watcher a lot of the time. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. I don't know how many times we'll play it over the course of the run, though. to play Volt to change what number Incense Burner is on for the next fight? I guess so. I didn't get, um... Hmm. What shall I exhaust? I didn't get Mind Bloom yet. understand when my cards are dealing this much damage. I have one I have one strength and I'm in wrath. Okay, that'll do it. I should have played protect so it wasn't stuck in my hand. Probably. I'm sure that I could lethal old transient if I like paid attention, but why would I pay attention. I don't <laughs> That doesn't... <laughs> doesn't sound fun at all. Yeah, it's not like Lesson Learned is um, having anything to upgrade or anything like that. So, the Holy Fights are the most likely to give me more scaling. Let's do this.
Well, mission seems like okay scaling to you. All I have is two mental fortresses in play, and I don't even get that every time. I wish it were better than it is. But unfortunately, it is only as good as it is. I think it's like clearly mandated that this run dies to the heart, but this run is not winning against the heart for free yet. So I'll have to think a little bit. By the way, when I lose to the heart with this deck, I will complain a lot. Mm -hmm. Just so you know. <laughs> if you're if you're not into that, be prepared. Aw, oh, thanks everybody. You're all so nice. Perseverance? If I lose to the Act 4 Elites, I don't think this loses to the Act 4 Elites. I, if I die to the Act 4 Elites, I will enjoy myself a great amount. That would be hilarious to me. We get talk to the hand, do we win? Uh, I mean, that would be pretty good. I'd be okay with getting a talk to the hand here. Twitch shatters, it's unethical. I've been over this. Tina, 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 Tina. One cut through fate, one third eye, and foresight. It's something. Hey. Leaving thing on this number was actually correct. Thought it might be. I feel so smart right now. Oh my god, empty fist. I assumed we were killing this one with it. <laughs> Doofus doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Um, why is cloning unethical? Uh, I don't remember. There was something about, like, something or other. 
This was a big deal back in the day when Dolly was cloned in New Zealand. Is cloning yourself unethical? Sure, we'll go with yes. Thoughts on devotion. That is a power called Barricade for Ironclad copying. Like, I actually think it's pretty good here. If we hit it with Omniscience, we get to be in Divinity every other turn. I don't have a Wallop in the deck. But it's still pretty good, I think. Let's try it. Yeah, and it gives us extra energy as well as all the extra damage. Helps us get rid of all of the smites that are going to be stuck in our hand all the time. living with myself. I think I enjoyed it. I'm pretty sure I watched that at some point. Paul Rudd. Yay! I like Paul Rudd. Possibly that series is part of why I like Paul Rudd even. This is the first time I've taken damage in a while. Ooh, I like drew extra cards by doing it. That's interesting. Do I still have Akabeko active? I think I still have Akabeko active. We win this fight by accidentally doing too much damage to the boss. Yes, eventually I will just like have a turn where the boss dies. I'll be like, oh, mm -hmm. that's how it's going to work. Do I have any pets? Yep. Jorb's Zephyr is a channel mascot. So next turn, I go Divine. And I'm intangible for what it's worth. Hey, your boy, Acid. Thanks for gifting a Roomba sub. Appreciate that. Suppose I will play some cards. And the fight's over. Intense burners on the wrong number. Don't care. Am I the unethical clone of Mini Jorbs? Hell no. Mini Jorbs is the unethical clone of me. Many Jorbs and I have discussed this. 
at some length, actually. Just kill it? <laughs> Not really. Notice that the enemy is not dead yet. Don't know if anyone else is keeping up with this fight, but it seems like we're taking like significant damage here actually. Alright, if I end the fight this turn, I can successfully put incense for around four with the Act 4 elites. gonna be hard. We're gonna have to kill Awakened One twice. You don't think that's happening? Well, fortunately nobody asked you. All right, was that the... that's the one I had to kill, right? Oh, it was the very big one. Okay. Not sure how you're meant to realize that. The existence of the Awakened One fight implies the existence of the fight after Awakened One that's harder. That's a bit of a problem for us right now. The Awakened 2, sure. How much dexterity do I have? Three? I must be able to do better than that. That actually didn't full block. <laughs> um.
maybe play the smites while on wrath would have been smart. Try to kill it next turn. The first time, I mean. And then we can be set up with Incense Burner on turn one of the second phase. One simple way to kill it here is just to click on Blasphemy, because it'll only deal one damage to me. Sure would suck if I'm wrong. That's how long it takes to have one good turn. I want Instance Burner on four. It's pretty important. This is as well as I can enter the next act, I think. <laughs> Calipers. Okay. There's no way that I need calipers, is there? I think I take Meditate Plus and Nirvana Plus. Has there been any moment in the entire run where I've overblocked? I'm pretty sure it's just Meditate plus Nirvana plus. Seems fine. Take another halt. Spoon won't stop omniscience from exhausting cards, I don't think. I'm not actually sure that I've ever tried that though.
relic record? Oh no, I didn't buy a relic in the store. Uh oh. Hopefully it's okay. Every card is currently upgraded, yeah. This bullshit. Oh, I wonder how, like, over this was if I just played Blasphemy this turn. There's always next turn. And since Burner's at 2 right now, I wanted it probably 4. Which means not dying next turn. Easy. And then we win. Art of War, Happy Flower, <laughs> and Evaluate Plus. Worth it to proc Kunai this turn, maybe? Or draw more cards? I think draw more cards. Although it's only one more. Where is Omniscience at, exactly?
two mental fortress, two foresight. Nirvana, two foresight. I only got one card here. Doesn't matter which other one I click. Went from dicey, do I feel bad for the heart? Yeah, well, you know. Gotta kill it. Next turn we deal some damage, I guess. Would have been a reasonable moment to use the weak potion, probably. Calipers? This was its moment. Oh shit, that... Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Looks like we're getting there. I was I meant to lethal with lesson learned, I'm sorry. I'm still new to the game. Still picking some things up. Unfortunate that we're dead next turn, isn't it? Well. 
Oh shit, we're intangible. How lucky. Watcher has defeated the Spire. It's 25. We are a quarter of the way to 100. No beyond perfect. Wait, did I kill any bosses without taking damage? Looks like I killed none. 